What is up everybody? My name is Chandan Sharma and welcome to my channel. Good morning guys. Today is 1st of December 2021. Today is the day when the Hornbill Festival will start. So I'm on my way to the venue. It's 8.30 right now. I just had a quick breakfast. Not really sure <laughs> at what time the inauguration will start. So I don't want to miss that. I'm going to spend my time here the entire day. So I met Josmeh, right? Josman. Josman yesterday uh, while on the way to Nagaland. So he's also a vlogger. Kilometer, kilometers? Kilometers and kilometers. Kilometers and kilometers vlog. So you know, it was really nice to meet him. So we are checking out the festival together. I met one vlogger yesterday from Nagaland, Kent's vlog. So he makes food vlogs mostly. So today he told me that he will make something called papaya salad. <laughs> Spicy one. So I'm going to go have later during the day for lunch. And there's one more guy I met at Lotha Naga house. His name is Ben. So I'm going to go there later. This is the festival booklet from the information center. It contains the 10 day schedule of the Hornbill festival. The opening ceremony is supposed to start at 4 p.m. in the evening today. So guys, the program has not yet started. So we are here at this place and I'm going to have a cup of tea again. <laughs> First that probably I'll go to the bamboo pavilion. It looked really nice from outside, you know. While you're at Hornbill, if you want to buy any handicraft items from Nagaland and other parts of Northeast, Bamboo Pavilion is a must visit. Here the local entrepreneurs from Nagaland come and sell and promote the products ranging from traditional clothing to food items like pickles and even household items. Can I have anything for kids? Huh? No, we don't have So guys, I got this mask for 200 rupees. All the artists belonging to different tribes were arriving at the respective morooms. And it was time for me to explore the morooms and culture of each tribe. Morooms are the traditional Naga huts. It used to be a key institution of the Nagas, a place for young unmarried boys where they could learn from the elders about social practices and beliefs, ancestral folk songs and folk tales. It also used to be the place where decision of peace and war was taken. Each tribes and villages have their own morooms. Each morong is embellished with hunting trophies and wood carvings specific to the tribe and it is a symbol of pride in Naga culture. There are 70 Naga tribes this time in Hornbill and each tribe has their own morungs where you can go and chill, take photographs with them, chat with them about the culture, try out the traditional food and beverages. You can also request them to let you try out the traditional attire. Nagaland is the land of festivals. All the tribes celebrate the distinct seasonal festivals throughout the year and during Hornbill festival you will get to see the showcase and celebration of culture and festivals of all major tribes in one place. The Ao Nagas are the major ethnic group native to Mokukchung district of Nagaland. 
they were the first Nagas to embrace Christianity and by virtue of which the Aos availed themselves of the Western education and have excelled in development. Nagaland might be a small state, but in terms of culture and festivals, it is very diverse. It is home to 16 major tribes, with each tribe having its own language, attire and delicacies. Within the tribes too, there are numerous sub-tribes and you can find variations within them as well. This makes inter-tribe and intra-tribe communication very difficult. Nagamese, which is entirely different from the indigenous language and somewhat similar to Assamese, is used as a common language in Nagaland. Also, most of the youths and the Naga people understand English. English is the official language of the state. You might not see the footage of all tribes as I was overwhelmed by the enormous display of rich culture and heritage of the Nagas. It was the first day of the festival and I was already loving it. The Konyaks are the largest of the Naga tribes. Known to be one of the fiercest warrior tribes in Nagaland, the Konyaks were the last to give up the practice of head hunting. They were also the last among the Naga tribes to accept Christianity. They have a sizable population in Arunachal Pradesh and in Myanmar as well. A lot of bloggers and a lot of YouTubers here. He is from Nagaland itself. Yes. Uh, nice to meet you, brother. Which yes. uh, tribe you said? Chakisan. Okay. Chakisan tribe. Yes. That is the one, right? Yes. This is the one. I'm around. It's really amazing. Are you going to come every day? Yeah, I'll, I'll try to come. Yeah, every day. Every day it will be the same or? Uh... No, not same. Uh, the schedule and program will be different. Yeah. This they are practicing, right? They're practicing and today's inauguration session. I mean, inauguration, like, four o'clock. Yeah, four o'clock. All right.
Angami Zaranada major ethnic groups of Nagaland settled in Kohima district and Dimapur district of Nagaland and are also recognized as one of the ethnic groups in the state of Manipur. The traditional religion of the Nagas was animist, a spiritual belief in natural objects and phenomena. An indigenous system of beliefs and practices passed on from the forefathers. Hindi or English? Both. <laughs> now the predominant religion is Christianity, which was adopted only after the arrival of Christian missionaries from the West. So guys, I am done with checking out the cultures of each tribe. Uh, there are so many of them, I don't know if I've covered everything. But now I'm gonna have uh, food, you know, it's getting cold. What is the time right now? It's just, it's close to 3 o'clock. But it gets pretty cold in here. And uh, yeah, I'm going to the same stall that I went yesterday. Uh, let's see if they have something, like, you know, veg. Um, but it was really cool, you know. Um, the, those cultures are still preserved. That is amazing. Blew my mind, actually. Hello, brother. Here hey, I come. <laughs> you have that, you'll prepare. <laughs> no, it's still that thing, no? Huh? We have uh, that yam boil, no? Huh? It's just that. We have yam boil and some salads. You have it right now? Yeah. I'll have that. It's veg, right? Come. Yeah, it's veg. I'll have. Okay. okay. Guys, this is my veg thali. This is rice. This is salad. Bamboo shoot. This is yam. This is papar. After the lunch, I headed toward the festival arena for the opening ceremony. The entire area was filled with locals and tourists and artists waiting to perform. And it indeed was the beginning of the festival of festivals, the Hornbill Festival. Join me in the next episode as I explore more cultural celebrations on the second day of the Hornbill Festival and show you the performances of different cultures and tribes.